This video is for senior high history, pages 372 to 379, the highlights here. And we are talking about the beginning of World War II. Um, so highlight on page 372, the coming of war, the headline there. Highlight the peace that failed. So throughout the 1920s, Western diplomats were trying to negotiate peace and um, highlight this. While Western powers talked about disarming, ambitious dictators in Germany, Italy, Japan, and Russia built powerful armies and strengthened their defenses. So remember, at the end of World War I, they had formed the League of Nations, and they were looking to outlaw international war. Remember, that ultimately failed, of course, we know. Um, and the uh, Marshal Foch of France said about the Treaty of Versailles, this is not peace, it's an armistice for 20 years. And an armistice is, uh, it's not a full treaty. It's, it's more of a ceasefire. So in other words, the war was still going on and it's going to erupt in another 20 years. And it's almost scary, uh, eerie, how, uh, how exact his prediction was, uh, closer than he would ever even know. So uh, these dictators were building up powerful armies while other countries like the United States and Great Britain were disarming in the attempts to follow the uh, Treaty of Versailles. So highlight rising tensions highlight that Germany grew increasingly bitter. Remember, uh, inflation had skyrocketed, people were out of jobs, uh, production was down, and Germany was relying on money from the United States. Highlight at the end of that column, Italy and Japan were also displeased. And this was because they had, they had fought with the Allies, but they felt that they didn't get the same rewards as the other Allies did, uh, especially uh, Japan. Japan very much wanted more territory, and she was very upset that she didn't. Uh, highlight that both countries faced large war debts and economic hardships after the war. So they were feeling very sorry for themselves, feeling that they had been deprived of these privileges and uh, colonies and raw materials and stuff. So they wanted more land and they wanted more influence. Highlight spiritual problems. We've talked about some of these from the 1920s. Highlight religious liberalism. Highlight Darwinism, socialism, and materialism. And these were the spiritual problems of the age turning people's focus away from spiritual matters and uh, focusing them on themselves. Uh, highlight ideologies and dictatorships. Highlight fascism in Italy. Find Benito Mussolini in bold. Highlight that he was a socialist. Socialist Benito Mussolini. Highlight fascist party. That was the name of his party. Highlight fascism and its definition. Fascism is a form of socialism. And it's very similar to communism. Uh, communists and fascists hated each other, which is kind of interesting. Um, what we kind of usually think of it as is, uh, you know, fascism is far, far right. Uh, communism is far, far left. And really, they both go so far to either direction that they kind of come around and like meet in the middle but they very much hated each other. Um, highlight that fascism uh, allowed some private property and enterprise, but strictly regulates those businesses that are privately owned. So that is really how it differed from communism. Uh, communism at this time did not allow any private property ownership, no private businesses. Fascism did allow for those things, but still had strict regulations. Uh, highlight Roman Empire. This was really Mussolini's dream here. Um, he, uh, he wanted to be like the Roman Caesars of old. And it's kind of interesting because it follows a lot of things that we talked about in uh, medieval times and all the, you know, the Holy Roman Emperors and all those guys. Everybody wanted to be the, you know, the Roman Empire reborn. And that was Mussolini's dream here. Highlight, in 1922, Mussolini led his black shirts in a march on Rome. Highlight that the king of Italy invited Mussolini to form a new government. 
the king was very weak, uh, very intimidated by Mussolini and his influence. So the king remained as kind of like a, like a puppet ruler, but Mussolini was the true power in the country. Highlight Nazism in Germany. And this was just another form of fascism or socialism. Highlight socialist Adolf Hitler. Highlight the German Workers' Party and highlight that they were nationalistic, anti-democratic, and uh, anti-capitalistic. Highlight the full name of the party, National Socialist German Workers' Party. That's the full name of it. We call them the Nazis because that's a whole lot easier to say. Uh, highlight the definition of Nazism. Nazism is a form of socialism. Highlight these things. It was all about terrorist aggression, fanatical racism, and anti-democratic nationalism. And this ties into Darwinism. The whole reason why they were so racist is that Hitler put forth the idea that, you know, if we're all evolved from lower life forms, then the Germans, the Aryans, they are, they are the, the most highly evolved of all mankind. Whereas the Jews, they're the untermenschken. They are the, uh, the subhumans, the lesser evolved people. And this whole uh, theory of this racism against the Jews, uh, against the Slavic peoples, was based in evolutionary Darwinism. So you can see the dangers that that leads to. Uh, I highlight this date, 1923. Highlight that the Nazis staged a violent revolt against the German government. Ultimately, at this date, it failed. Highlight Hitler went to jail. Uh, but highlight that he wrote Mein Kampf. And uh, highlight the, uh, what it means. Mein Kampf means my struggle. And highlight kind of the definition of it here. This was an exposition of Nazi ideology and highlight that mein, mein Kampf was a blueprint for Hitler's future plans. Highlight that he combined Darwinism with his socialist ideas. That goes on to page 374. Highlight master race. That was his idea here. Highlight that he believed that the Germans were destined to rule the world. Highlight survival of the fittest. Highlight an uh, elimination of certain inferior races especially the Jews, and then highlight enslavement of the rest. So that was his grand idea. And probably one of the worst things about Mein Kampf is how much it was ignored. It was kind of like the Nazi Bible and all of Hitler's followers read it, but the world at large ignored it. When Hitler did come to power, they completely ignored Mein Kampf. And his whole philosophy, his entire plan of destroying the Jews was lined out in that book and they just ignored it. Oh, well, Hitler's not that bad of a guy. Oh, you know, he's not, he's not really going to kill all the Jews, all this stuff. And it was right there in his book. Clearly, it's what he was planning. So kind of a sad thing about that. Uh, so within the year, Hitler was out of prison and he was uh, spreading his philosophy around um, through very, very sneaky political maneuvering and out-and-out -out threats, Hitler managed to be appointed chancellor in January 1933. So just one decade after he was thrown in prison, he had one of the most powerful positions in Germany. Again, sneaky political maneuvering, outright threats. His party was not even the majority party. Uh, so clearly, very underhanded things happened. Um, highlight that Hitler became called Der Führer. And that is, uh, it means the leader, very simply. Um, but it was meaning like the leader, like supreme leader, the most important guy. Highlight the name of his government, the Third Reich. And Reich just means empire. So his belief was that uh, Germany's uh, history had been in three stages. You had the first empire, you had the second empire, now his was the third empire. And he predicted that the Third Reich would last a thousand years. He was very far short on that. So he began to outlaw other political parties. Uh, he conducted a purge of his own party. He killed any members he thought were a threat. Uh, he started building up uh, Germany's war machine, adding weapons and planes, even though they were forbidden to do that under the Versailles Treaty. And his motto became, Today Germany 
tomorrow the world. And his whole plan hinged on the annihilation of the Jewish people and other groups considered uh, to be inferior. 